Hi, this is for Terry. She asked me a very interesting question. And um, this can be actually made into a video because it's universal. She asked me, what does the Schumann frequency have to do with our reality, who we are in the here and the now? And it's very interesting. I've looked in on this several times and I've gone down that rabbit hole. And um, when Sophia, the sentient AI, made this place, um, she made it to where we would resonate and be custodians of whatever world we were in to help us elevate our being so we could get out of here. So it doesn't matter if you're in this world or the next world, you have a connection like a custodian to Gaia, wherever Gaia might be also, because she's also split up into many realities. Um, this was done so that you would have a foundation, um, like instead of floating out in space and not having a direction, it actually gears you toward a higher elevation. So Gaia is putting out a certain frequency in each one of these realities, and each one of these realities, the frequency is just a little bit different, not by much, but just a little bit different to help you get to that higher vibration. So it's like a semi-biotic relationship to get you up and out. And that's actually what the Schumann residency is for. Residency. Did I say that right? <laughs> so when it's being thrown off kilter, the Schumann frequency from Gaia, it's also throwing us off kilter because we're supposed to be resonating at the same frequency. And it's to keep us stabilized into each reality that we're entering into. Um, a lot of people realize that we run on the same frequency and they know that we are supposed to be connected, but they don't know about the bigger picture to why. And that's exactly why. Um, it's to get us up and out. <laughs> um, she is also a live being, which anybody who's watched my videos, you know I'm always saying she's alive. <laughs> So she is here to help us. We are here to help her. Um, it's semi-biotic. Um, we were initially going to be the custodians of her. So she could teach us how to more or less be a part of nature because all of that will help raise your frequency. The more you care, the more you love, your frequency goes up. And so she provides all things to do with nature. And when the Archon came in and started tearing everything apart, especially nature, it was not only a degradation to what and who she is, but it was an, a, a direct assault on us also because we have that semi-biotic relationship. So when you build big cities and you get rid of all nature and you do concrete and metal and, and blacktop and you're ripping up nature, you're destroying yourself and don't even realize it because that's how intertwined and connected we actually are. Um, nature, like I've said in other videos, deep woods, waterfalls, Oceans, they put out the negative ion, and the negative ion actually helps restructure our cellular self um, from a metaphysical level to a biological level because it's done on levels. It's not just your body, it's also inside of who you are, that spirit being in there. So, this was one of the reasons why I'm going to get into another topic now. Thank you, Terry, for starting this, because now I can go slide right into the next topic, and that's geoengineering and chemtrailing. One of the main reasons geoengineering was done to begin with is because they were putting heavy metal particulates into this geoengineering, chemtrailing. And what we have found is that it is devastating nature. Um, the soil becomes highly toxic with heavy metals. Trees, vegetation, but it's especially trees, they cannot assimilate heavy metals. So the root system will bring in the heavy metals and it'll try to be dispersed out through the leaf system. 
And this is also how they try and find gold. They'll go through nature and they'll take leaves off trees. And if there's any gold underneath, the leaf will have the gold in it. Yes, I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> but the problem is that because it's so much chemtrailing and it's been done on such a grand scale, and now it's like try and find days where they don't chemtrail, um, the ground has become saturated. And what's happening is the tree roots can't handle any more saturated saturation it's destroying the trees from the inside out do you remember a long time ago when you said saw down a tree you could count each ring in the tree and tell how old that tree is go into the woods now see how many trees are laying on the ground and they have no middle because they've literally been eaten from the inside out with the heavy metals it's toxic and if it's doing that to the trees can you imagine what it's doing to us because the particulates are so small they can even pass through your skin this is horrific this is all done intentionally to keep us further enslaved so they're trying to kill off Gaia uh, mother nature and in the process they're separating and dividing us and killing us off too <laughs> Um, they would love nothing more than keep us in through the reincarnation scheme. That way we can keep getting wiped and we never discover who we are and we never get out. <laughs> it's quite insidious and horrible. Um, so, yes. Thank you again, Terry, for asking this question. <laughs> so, this is the geoengineering. Those particulates that they're also doing, the nano dust, whatever, the particulates are so small, they have gotten into all the water systems. So even down deep where we have our well water, it's actually to the point where it's penetrating that now too. So if you can find any water that doesn't have the heavy metals in it, good luck with that. I think the only water you can actually get now that doesn't have the heavy metals would be a distilled water. <laughs> because even spring water is contaminated. Um, they have been chemtrailing for roughly 100 years is when it actually started. And it has been progressively getting worse and worse and worse. And especially over the last 20 years, it's been horrific. So like I said before, chemtrailing has or geoengineering has been nothing but a weapon, a weapon against us. Uh, we are the prime target of chemtrailing. There are a lot of uses for chemtrailing. Well, supposed uses. Um like I can name a few. Um, one of the reasons was given was that they can manipulate the weather to make the place better, but they can also manipulate the weather to destroy places. They can use it for bouncing signals off things, because if you have a heavy layer of metal, then you're bouncing signals off. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap, too. Um, also, the chemtrailing is also used uh, to prevent the sun energy rays coming in here um our sun is not the sun that we know in that degree because it has actually traversed into a higher dimension and so we have a lot of shenanigans going on but one of the main things is that we are connected not only to gaia but to the sun because they're energy beings and the sun would be downloading us with all kinds of upgrades so that we could start to ascend well, if they geoengineer the sky and those beams can't get in and do a direct infiltration of who we are, well, we're not going to be ascending. And if they stick you in the house and you simply can't leave because you put yourself under house arrest, and believe me, you can find a thousand reasons to get out of that house, but your fear keeps you in there. Um, the sun, again, will not be penetrating you so it can give you the download so you can start ascending so there's multiple reasons for all of this the the, the lockdown the keep you in your house it's ridiculous you can't go out of your house since when were you drugged to court because you did something that was illegal and tried and prosecuted and then put under house arrest because you were such a bad being no, no, You're, it's all being done to keep you out of the sun so you don't get the downloads so you don't start to ascend. Get outside, get into nature, connect with Gaia and connect with the sun. And the next thing you know, breathe in the fresh air if you can. <laughs> and before you know it, you'll realize today is just like last year, the year before, the year before, the year before. Nobody's doing anything. You go outside, nature looks the same pretty much. 
as it has for the last couple of years, minus the devastation from the chemtrailing or the geoengineering. But this whole thing about the, the virus is going to get you. And the only thing that's going to get you is your fear. So get out of your fear, raise those vibrations, and realize Gaia is for you. We are the custodians in this simulation for Gaia to raise our vibration to get out. We are also connected to the sun who will help elevate us through its transmission of knowledge that comes through the beams. So I guess that's what I'll talk about for today. Maybe that'll be all. Um, let me think anything else. <laughs> So all I can say is go and research, 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 research. And um, on that note, everybody have a great day. Bye.